This conference will now be recorded. Hi. <clears throat> Hi and hello everyone. Um, welcome to Isha Training Solutions. Um, um, this is Saravan and Srinivasan. I'm, uh, I'm going to take you through this uh, uh, demo session, App Dynamics demo session. So I have close to 12 years of experience in this um, uh, field, uh, both in performance testing, performance engineering uh, side. I know various tools, uh, uh, various APM tools basically, uh, App Dynamics, Dynatrace, Neural Lake, all those tools. And then I know um, PT tools like Load Runner, J Meter, Neo Load, Performance Center, Blaze Meter, uh, etc. So I also know various utility tools. I I I usually um, do this uh, App Dynamics, Dynatrace, uh, Neuralic uh, training batches for um, um, Asia training solutions, and also performance engineering course. Uh, so. So during our course journey, it will be of a combination of all the information that we'll be sharing. Guys, okay, so we'll learn app dynamics, we'll learn fundamentals, we'll learn uh, some engineering uh, concepts as well. So so that it will be of a complete uh, um, learning. Okay, uh, so what we will, how I designed this um, uh, course structure is that like. Uh, it should be beneficiary for all the other stream of people, those who are trying to use this app dynamics tool. It may be uh, for developers, or it may be performance testers, or it may be for, for the admins, or it may be for uh, system support team. Whomever they are uh, trying to use this app dynamics tool, you know, uh, how it will be useful for them. That's how we 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 constructed this. Uh, 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 the course content predominantly this is actually used by performance testers i would say because uh, rest all people uh, uh, they are expecting that uh, solution to be provided by the performance testers but actually saying this can be used by all these stream of people okay developer can use it performance tester can use it performance engineer can use it devops engineers can use it admins can use it uh, system support engineers can use it like that everybody can use it uh, this uh, app dynamics too okay so uh, uh, the content how i designed is that like more of practical oriented okay more of practical oriented no? so i don't want to show you some 30 40 slides and then show you like this is what this is what like that instead our our learning and understanding will be primarily on the practical oriented study uh, uh what i'll I do i'll give you two applications okay for your sample understanding uh what we are doing we are going to have two uh, uh, uh sample application one is a java application another one is a node.js application and i'll also show you like how to install uh the apache tomcat server in which you are going to deploy this war file so that the java application can be used for your uh, uh, learning similarly um, how to install the node.js server how to uh, uh, configure this node.js application which is an express cart application uh, and how we can use it for your learn so these two application i will share through google drive and you guys can uh, uh, download it configure it and then you, you can use it for your uh, learning okay uh, that's that's one and uh, we'll also um, focus on uh, the other practical understanding like uh, uh, um, browser understanding okay browser understanding because that is very important nowadays uh, 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 90 to 95 percentage of the customers are started talking about these terms client side performance end user experience user experience uh, real user monitoring synthetic monitoring like that uh, i think 90 to 95 percentage of the customers they started talking this uh, i i hope in this forum also many would have uh, heard these terms this real user monitoring synthetic monitoring these these things and all because customers are more keen towards those uh, understanding uh, anybody in this forum uh, uh, your customers started asking these things this uh, user experience real user monitoring synthetic monitoring like that Thank mm -hmm. 
no we are uh, we are new to this tool yeah we have this requirement from the customer uh, yeah yeah satya narayana uh Bhamsi, this is this is not specific to app dynamics it is actually the concept which is specific to performance testing okay okay, the, okay that's fine the term that i uh, mentioned Bhamsi. okay okay no, so no, basic no. uh basically what is happening nowadays i'll uh, i'll uh, tell you say um, say like uh, i'm i'm having a chrome browser i'm having a chrome browser and um, i'm um, accessing my uh, 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 i'm hitting my physical server okay my servers my organization servers this is a browser and this is the server i am accessing my uh, organization server so what will i do i'll um, i'll give a request and that request will be going to my physical server and then uh, i'll um, get the response and it is reaching my browser this is what typically happening when when the request goes processing happens and then it is uh, returning back the response this is what is happening whenever we are doing something in the browser manually we are doing something in the browser okay but you uh, say you consider like you are a performance tester and you are trying to use that application in in uh, uh, in load runner or jmeter whichever whichever the tool that you are trying to use say like uh, during that aspect when you are trying to record the scenario using your load testing tools okay what will you do you will keep that in the middle because that is a proxy server right your tool will be sitting in the middle man in the middle okay so what it will do load runner will be here jmeter whatever whichever the tool that you are using it will be a man in the middle so what is happening when you are uh, during the recording i'm saying during the recording what will happen you will launch your browser and uh, that request will be going to your physical server in the meantime what your pt tool will do it will it is sitting in the middle right what it will do it will um, uh, record uh, uh, it will record the copy of the request it will record the copy of the request it will it will record the copy of the request and that particular request will be going to your physical server and physical server will process the data it will uh, send the response back that time what your tool will do it will record the it will record the copy of the response and then it will send back to your browser okay this is what is happening during your recording in this forum um, uh, the performance testers hope you will accept whatever i'm saying if there is any deviation please let me know guys okay so performance testers in this forum will definitely accept this this is what is actually happening during your recording during your recording this is what the behavior that is happening okay i'm i'm done with the recording say an example i'm done with the record i'm going to replay the script okay i'm going to replay the script how the replay will be happening say like this entire layer will not be there this entire layer will not be there because the tool which is already having the copy of the request right what it will do with that it will try to hit your physical server the tool will hit the physical server and the server will give some response the server will give some response so what will happen in this case the the server will give you a uh, just a minute the server in this time the server will give you a response okay some response which is a i would say replayed response replayed response so what this tool will do already it is having a recorded response and you are getting a replayed response the tool will compare the recorded response and the replayed response and it will it will say like your script is passed or failed the script is passed or failed okay uh this in this the life cycle i explained right in this life cycle actually a critical part is missing 
what is that anybody can uh, tell me what is that critical part is missing during this the life cycle of activity that i that i mentioned which which part is actually missing uh no ravi uh, ravin um that's not the one or the correlation no not the correlations okay maybe the yes, performance end yeah. user performance yeah exactly exactly that is actually missing right yeah, i cut the you you can see this entire thing i cut it right the browser layer itself i cut it i did not show that browser layer because the tool is not doing that activity performance testing tool it is not launching the browser right it is only doing your uh, 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 network transport layer communication only it is doing right http basically it is doing the http layer uh, communication it is not actually doing your presentation layer uh, activity but somebody can argue with me in load runner there is a protocol called procline protocol through that uh, uh, you can do that activity but the acceptance of uh, trueclaim protocol i know those who worked in trueclaim pro protocol they will they will maybe accept my words the acceptance is not that e that equivalent to your real bro real browser activity that you are doing though we are calculating the uh, browser layer response time in uh, trueclaim but there are there are uh, glitches are there uh, say uh, where you are uh, adding your end transaction it matters sometimes people will will add the end transaction in a wrong place so true claim protocol measurement will not be that uh, smooth because of that uh, that's a problem and also your page painting page rendering things and all you cannot measure it you can you can only say response time you cannot say page painting page rendering time and all okay so that is also um, uh, one of the uh, critical thing that is actually missing in your uh, pt tools okay so now you consider this okay now you you consider like uh, uh, so day in day out performance testers are doing this activity by missing one layer of information which is your browser layer your client side and client side uh, performance your end user uh, performance okay now answer to those problem is actually your uh, apm solution which is nothing but your app dynamics okay which is nothing but your app dynamics which is actually which is currently actually missing so that is also covered in your app dynamics space so uh, uh, what will i do i'll show you for a particular application i i i told you right i i will share one application to you in that application how the html instrumentation can be done and how your data can be populated back to your app dynamics that is what we are going to learn so, okay that is what we are going to learn so that is that is also will be covered in our uh, course gen and also two databases mysql database and then mongo db database these two databases if you are configuring the app dynamics agent and then how you are going to collect the database query related hardware related information geolocation related like that all those uh, also we are going to learn guys okay so all in all uh, uh, two application learning one user experience learning two database learning one infrastructure say like windows application monitoring how we are going to do that is also we are going to uh, learn it so so um satyanarayana yeah we will share the recorded session every day um, uh, uh, satyanarayana those who are uh, our uh, learners right our students will we will share a daily basis post uh, completion of the session you will be getting the uh, uh, video lifetime access will be there for those videos at any point of time you can play and then you can watch it yeah so that is uh, that is how we are going to cover all these are practical oriented learning right you are going to do a machine agent configuration database agent configuration user experience agent configuration application agent configuration all these are part of it that is actually i i mentioned in the course content as well say like um, first you will be knowing what is apm tool how it is actually good for performance testers and then what are all the deployment models that are available and how to configure apache tomcat and then node js application agent 
Windows Server Monitoring, MySQL, MongoDB, User Experience, all those learning we are going to get it. Okay, all those learning uh, we are going to get it in a practical way. We are going to learn those things in a practical way. Uh, because the problem is, I'll tell you, in this forum, I don't know how many of them are early in their career. For them also, I'm saying, uh, um, say like, uh, I'll, I'll uh, I take an example like I wanted to learn JMeter or I wanted to learn Load Runner. What is the usual problem that you guys faced, guys, during early stage when you wanted to learn uh, 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 Load Runner or JMeter? What are all the problem that you guys faced? You know, getting an uh, an application to learn a sample application to learn that is our biggest challenge for everybody. Correct or not? Hope you guys will accept this because. Uh, you cannot straight away go and record some online application and all because it will have a lot of headers, lot of correlations, lot of security certifications, tokens, uh, 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 you, even CSR of tokens, some um, uh, Kerberos uh, authentication, NTLM authentication like that. Everything will be there in the middle that will block your recording, block your replay. A lot of problems will be there. But for that, what you require is that a basic uh, sample applications to uh, do that activity, right? So I, since I know the pain of doing that, so what I did is that like I will provide that sample application to you all, so that you can deploy it in your local laptop or your desktop, and then you can start learning all the features of uh, App Dynamics. Okay, say like uh, 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 right now also. Uh, say I if if you are creating a app dynamics account and then uh, if you are configuring the application agent and then what usually I'll do you know I will create one JMeter script okay and then I will run that JMeter script so that it will be synthetically creating a load to my application server instead of making five people ten people to sit and do that load creation. What I usually do, I'll use the JMeter script. It may be JMeter, it may be Load Runner. In my case, I used JMeter. But in your case, if you are comfortable with Load Runner, you can still use Load Runner. So we can use this PT tool to trigger the load to that application server. And then we can simulate different different load conditions, say like uh, 10 users, 20 users, 50 users, 100 users. Like that, we can simulate different different load conditions hit the application with the more logs, understand different different performance problems. Okay, it may be thread contention problem, it may be um, response time related problem, it may be memory related problem. Like that you can have a wonderful understanding of each and everything. That is also we are going to learn as part of this uh, course yet. Okay, I'll take a pass here. Anybody have any question guys? Hello. Yes, Ashwarya. Yeah, I have a question actually. I mean, <clears throat> about that application uh, you're talking about. So, which application? Uh, I mean, uh, you'll be providing. Uh, is it like a Java application, .NET application? It's a Java application. It's, it's a Java application. Java. Yeah, one Java oh. application, one Node.js application. Okay. So you you are saying that uh, you will be providing that application. So that application need to be installed in our laptop, right? And yeah. Uh, see, those who are okay. having see nowadays how people are doing, they are taking the AWS machine, free version of the AWS machine, and they are learning. The, there are people are doing like that. Or if you wish, you can locally deploy also. No problem. See, uh, right now my machine is actually 8 GB RAM. In that I am okay. deploying my application, and then I'm I'm uh, um, I'm showing right. So like the way if you can um, deploy that uh, application in your local machine, still you can learn it as well. Okay. Hi. Uh, so uh, would we be learning, are we going to learn about, uh, you know, certain metrics uh, like uh, JVM, uh, the JVM um, CPU utilization, all those uh, um, yeah. you know, metrics? would we yeah. okay you'll be able to show us everything uh, what is required to provide you know for performance uh, reviews and things like that 
your your name is mentioned as kd here uh, <laughs> so you if i if i tell you you i will be covering all these things actually the jvm understanding garbage collection understanding cpu memory related understanding everything i will uh, tell you during our course journey kd uh, uh, this garbage collection also though app dynamics is having a um, um, eden space server space uh, those uh, understanding first what i usually do you know first i will take one uh, session 15 to 20 minutes of a session to explain what is garbage collection first okay first you should you guys should know what is young generation old generation pump generation meta space or uh, your eden space survivor space what is minor gc what is major gc those understanding first i will explain to you all and then i will explain what is happening in app dynamics so that it is really easy for you to correlate what is happening so that understanding i will definitely bring it on uh, kd okay clear okay sounds good yeah sure uh is app d perform end to end monitoring yeah see both are apm tools both are doing the similar behavior satyanarayana okay what are all the pre request sites that are uh, uh, required pre request site in the sense like you are asking about software hardware or skill set level satira you know which one you are asking no uh, if you want to install agents okay, in the organizations to implement uh, if they don't any apm that, tool that, currently that that part i'll explain during our uh, deployment model explanation if it is on premises means what is that if it is saas model means what is that like that we will we will see that satyanarayan during our course journey i will explain each and everything clearly okay uh, how how say if banking and insurance customer what they are interested retail based customer what they are interested like that we will cover it satyanarayan sure would you be able to send us uh, ahead of time um, how to install all those things so you know we don't waste time like uh when you so we can follow along uh, yeah uh 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 kedi that 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 part we will explain throughout our session uh the, the in that uh, session period itself so that uh, uh what is happening i'll tell you why i'm telling this explanation because if i give that task to um the students many are coming back and saying like i am facing this problem that problem so what is happening i have to connect with each and every one uh, in offline and resolving their issues so it is a little time consuming process right so i'll show that uh, in the in the session itself so that it is easy for you for everybody to understand it post my session you do on your own and then uh, uh, we can we can discuss on that fine for ekdi okay yeah so wh- why i'll tell you um, say uh, <clears throat> if i give this task to somebody Uh, in in their in their machine java will not be there or in their machine home path will not be properly configured or in their machine um, uh, memory memory problem and cpu problem something is there because of that what is happening they will what they will do you know those students will put in our group like it is not working that is not working will which it will create some kind of a chaos and then people will think like oh, what is this what is the problem then i need to connect to everybody each and everybody remotely and then i used to resolve their issues actually saying it is all some some uh, small small configurational stuff only so that is the reason during the session i'll explain like uh, how uh, how to uh, download the agent how to install the agent what are all the prerequisites that are required to do the installation of the agent all those things i'll do that actually saying i will share the jdk jdk also if you guys interested i'll share the jdk also so that uh, you guys can um, download and install instead of searching in internet you can straight away install it okay that also if if you wish i'll share that jdk version also okay guys yes sound good yes. yeah. hello so, yeah. hi yeah hi. shravanti yeah shravanti uh, uh, actually you'll be covering even the devops concepts involved in app dynamics See, DevOps nothing to do with the app dynamics. DevOps itself a process, okay. But I, if you wish, I can explain that as well. Say how development and operations are nowadays hand in hand. How they are working. Those things I'll maybe I'll touch base with, okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Why? See, this is a fancy term nowadays, Shanti. What people are doing? Huh? DevOps engineer. Mm-hmm. 
the term itself devops engineer what the devops engineer will do what the regular developer and regular testers are doing the same activity only will do only the the their their role is actually devops engineers okay so that's mm-hmm. a, so procedurally it is all the same thing ravanti but uh, how you are uh, going to approach is a matter so i'll maybe uh, i'll touch base with the, uh, the concepts maybe yeah i'll do that okay yeah hi gautam uh, yeah gautam yeah gautam sorry yeah like i can say that like course content is designed for the performance testers like see i last from last five and of year like i am into support okay like i am not into testing side like mm. is this uh, course recommended for me like because i want to uh, pick my app dynamics admin and like i want to i want to learn app dynamics admin part like is this course recommended for me like yeah that's yeah, right just like, that is the reason i mentioned the installation part and the configuration part is all available in this course content right so admin is okay. actually covered admin total admin part is actually covered see uh, why i am not saying like it is only particular to performance testers means because performance testers they will not do configurations admin only will do configurations okay, okay. so if we, if i say like in the recent times say like last 3 months for the last 10 accounts where i interacted with if i ask this question to a performance tester did you know how to configure the app app agent they'll say no because there is a separate team who is doing that activity that team is actually the admin people okay the infrastructure people system support team okay but no, what no, i no. wanted to bring in here is that like end to end understanding uh, the performance tester should know the configuration system support engineer should know the data collection part so that that's how the the course is actually constructed though okay 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 sorry i missed the first 15 minute session so that's oh, the reason okay. i missed oh, okay yeah. sorry okay yeah. sure sure uh, satyanarayana uh, can you share the terminology mapping between app dn and the dynatrix throughout the session i will do that actually saying because uh, everybody is interested in in doing that say uh, say like in this case itself you mentioned like pure path right the pure path is actually in app dynamics it is actually call graph okay it is called as uh, uh, partial call graph or pu- full call graph like that okay uh, um, the smart scape topology which is there in dynatrace is actually called as uh, flow map you in in dashboard it is a flow map okay so uh, uh, you, you you also have rest api concepts in dynatrace the environmental api uh, configuration api here also rest api concepts are there in app dynamics to extract their data okay um, even uh, um, uh, uh, he, there also your uh, integration of uh, load runner and jmeter is there in in dynatrace here also your load runner jmeter integration is there in app dynamics also like that throughout the session i'll explain that uh, satinarayana a lot of things are there uh, and in hand uh, mapping is all the way there actually saying uh, in uh, dynatrace it is called as one agent here it is there is one more agent in app dynamics it is called as universal agent okay like that lot of things are there well during the session maybe i'll explain each and everything uh, uh, satinarayan sure okay thank you uh ravin actually saying more it is sufficient it is sufficient but i'll tell you one more thing also all the certification in the industry not only this app dynamics all the certification in the industry they are oriented towards little towards theoretical content okay the all the certifications i'm saying so after going through our course also you need to little go through the theoretical content as well don't i i should not create over confidence to you all that blindly follow this and then straight away go to the center and then write the exam that thing i will never uh, tell because uh, i myself uh, some 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 uh, five years before i'm saying suddenly i thought like why don't i uh, i uh, write a load runner certification okay suddenly i thought in my mind uh, uh, one fine day early morning i i decided and then i went to a prometric center i i wrote that exam i only got uh, 91% in that certification load runner but what a uh, perception i had it in my mind see all these years i am working in load runner uh, am i not getting the percentage close to 100 or what but it is not like that 
some questions will be a pure and pure theoretical content will be there in their uh, blog in their um, tutorial content whatever they are having right uh, in that they will put one dash and then they will ask that question in their certification exam so you should not be over confident in uh, clearing that uh, certification right so definitely definitely my course will definitely help you in uh, uh, cracking the uh, certification but but the classes you need to at least once or twice you have to go through that, uh, their their theoretical content also that will definitely help you to clear that exam okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah thank you yeah uh, that uh, people's mentality or intention you know no uh, simply watching the video you will uh, uh, write the certification exam but watching the video will help you conceptually it will help you but the the exact terms and terminologies some technical jargon and all will be there in their content only right so that part you need to cover it other than that it will it will more more towards admin certification more towards your uh, professional certificate it will help you to clear it away yeah any any further question guys uh, do we have any specific links to learn the theoretical content yeah they they are they are having their university uh, this uh, uh, academic people are having their uh, uh, contents their their contents i will share that gautam maybe maybe during our session each and every session i'll uh, explain that that time uh, i'll i'll try to uh, give that uh, link to you. yeah sure that would be thank you sure. yeah so not only that yeah. do you know what yeah anybody started asking questions yeah i have a question actually uh, yeah, as as you said i mean uh, we have to deploy uh, this one uh, i mean in the real time server system so usually suppose if uh, there is a client and the client uh, won't give access to their servers right so how uh, i mean uh, how that is going to cover i mean uh, if my system is here the client server is a different place and mm -hmm. uh, i need to i need to monitor uh, their performance of that their application so where those things i need to configure it in my system or uh, in the client server system in the in the client server system only nothing to uh, do in your uh, machine actually saying okay, okay. Uh, at least at least in uh, um, um, in in uh, dynatrace at least there are features are there whatever you are talking right that feature is there but uh, in in abdenus perspective uh, and in neuralic perspective i'm saying neuralic is also one of the apm tool right neuralic perspective and ca apm one more tool is there so, uh, while in drascope earlier now it is called a ca apm all these tools you know uh, there is a concept called agent that agent has to sit in your respective servers that agent will collect the data it will send back the data to the front end the ui and the data will be displayed that is a concept that is a fundamental concept about all the apm tools okay so here mm -hmm. also in academics also uh, your machine where you can launch that ui but the agent will be sitting in the app server db server those uh, uh, particular servers and then the agent will be collecting the data and is setting sending back the data to your ui in your machine you are going to display the data filter the data calculate it manipulate it whatever you wanted to do you know you can do it that is what the uh, working working personality harsha was okay 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 uh, in that case my system will be work with as like a middle tire somewhere come again in that case in that case my system will be work it as like a middle tire which is like uh, no. between this sitting between mm, the server and the database not middle tire it is a front end layer your presentation <laughs> presentation okay layer. okay yeah. yeah yeah thanks yeah sure uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Ready, yeah. yeah. Uh, the same thing is applicable for infra monitoring like you uh, know let us suppose if i need to monitor for oracle db or mongo db matrix uh infra hmm. related matrix uh, uh the agent should definitely sit in the same db server or it can be on another uh, another machine as you know it should be there in your uh, uh, servers only uh, that is how uh, it is a jar file only say that that okay. clarity you, you should have it is a jar file that we are running in the machine so okay. these people you know whenever I, I i could understand where you are coming 
I think you you know Splunk, right? You know Splunk. I know Splunk and you no, know, I worked on CA APM where the infra yeah. monitoring like DB monitoring the agent should sit can can sit in any mission and yeah. can uh, monitor by configuring some properties. Yeah, I could understand why you are asking this question. Yeah, so uh, this similar question whenever I asked this question to the vendor itself, the, the app dynamics vendor itself. Okay, what they are saying they have all the security certificates that they already uh, got it all the security certificates are available with these people and what they are saying we are not going to read your data at all that's a problem or that's the uh, question raised by the customers right if i allow you to install something in my premise or something inside my code will you take certain data of my application or what will you try to re-engineer my code or what that's a question every customer uh, will ask right but the answer yes. to those questions, what they are replying, they have all the security certificates and they they have n number of early early success uh, stories, which means that they are maybe now uh, the um, app dynamics would have bought by um, uh, um, thousands and thousands of customers and they never come up with the problem statement, right? They did not report any te technical breach or, or data breach or uh, security breach, right? So they are telling like we are having already security certificates in what way we are good with and no customer already reported similar kind of an issue so please believe that we will do the same thing for you that is how they are responding back getting my point yeah yeah got it yeah 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 so and and i also personally saying uh uh, uh up like uh, i worked with multiple implementations multiple in configurations and all right actually saying customers nowadays they are believing that these are not going to create problem uh, that mind block i it was there maybe uh, some three to four years before but now it is all gone uh, uh, i don't i know uh, the when the concept of devops uh, came into the picture right uh, the agile and the devops that time more of open source tools are started coming into the picture okay uh, so open source tool when uh, you know uh, when i was working uh, uh, seven to eight eight years before and all you know uh, using JMeter tool itself, a security violation kind of a thought process was there. That years and uh, those years, using JMeter, uh, they, you need to raise a lot of security tickets, and then security codes can these that and all will happen. And finally, only we can bring the JMeter inside the premises. But nowadays, every every customer started using JMeter. So that's a that's a mind block that uh, it is not available now. Similarly. These questions, right? When I'm allowing you to install one agent in my uh, uh, infrastructure, will you take my data? That the mind block also is slowly going away, Redaya. Okay. Yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Satinarayana's question, like, uh, our app dynamic agent consumes more memory space in application. Actually, saying no. Um, the same question uh, when I had with them, they are saying like uh, they are they are not even consuming two percentage of your cpu less than two percentage that is what they are claiming less than two percentage okay in some forums they mention less than five percentage okay but uh, actually saying that two and the five is not that great number so obviously it is not going to um, harm us and also nowadays i'll tell you uh, uh, this production uh, uh, infrastructure when you are trying to monitor Definitely, there is a mechanism that is required to do your monitoring. So there should be a compromising things, right? You should you say it should not create a problem, and but I will uh, uh, get the more benefit. Mean that will not happen at all. So there is a compromise, like uh, we are spending some two to three percentage of the CPU, but we can um, we can identify maximum problems. Mean then you can compromise with this uh, Satinarayana. Clear? Uh, the sensitive data it will not uh, capture at all, uh, Satinaran. Satina, uh, the, the sensitive data part uh, they they handled it. They handled it in in app dynamics. They handled it. I will maybe I'll explain little about the sensitive data part during our course course journey also. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, sir. Yeah. Sure. Any further question, guys? 
similar to direct ties, okay, they have the advocate uh, infrastructure setup concept, okay. Uh, is app dynamics also will allow in the organization because instead of connecting all my application servers over the 443 uh, on internet, I think mm -hmm. that is the security concern from the uh, network perspective. Can we install activate kind of thing or you know any proxy servers? No, actually here it is auto handled. Uh, there only uh, if you are having a strong firewall issue, you need to install activate. Other than that, it is not required in Dynatrace. Here uh, it is it is auto handled. There is no separate component for that. For for uh, bypassing the proxy, there is no separate component and all. It will auto. It's actually saying this is actually communicating through 443 only, right? So obvious yeah. that you are. All your uh, uh, organization 8080 and 443 is a default port. I don't think it's it's a problem. It'll 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 take the data. Or something, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And coming back here, like uh, we also have uh, alerts and response. Actually, saying this these tools are called as APM, right? Earlier it was application performance monitoring APM. Nowadays I would say it is all application performance management why i'm saying like that you know it is it started managing certain things like alerting uh, when there is a problem i can alert uh, maybe i can alert uh, satina raina i can alert vamsi i can alert Ashavadan like that i can alert certain certain people so that they can take the recovery action earlier days and all what will be happening say like the system support engineer will be sitting in front of the machine they will they will monitor the entire system and if there is a problem they will create a level one ticket level two ticket level three ticket and they will call the respective person in the midnight call them there is a problem can you wake up and then resolve this problem like that and all usually happens if this is like some seven years eight years before i'm saying okay now the total story changed you don't want to sit in front of the machine and then do all this activity it is all automated those process are automated this artificial intelligence or applied intelligence whatever you call it as this actually uh, do when there is a data breach the tool itself will actually send a mail or uh, send some notification uh, trigger some http request trigger some thread dump like that lot of uh, things can be done so that is also available in app dynamics it is an alert alerting mechanism how we are going to create a policy health rule violation what are all the action that you are going to do like that in that also i'm going to explain two actions one is mail trigger action another one is a thread dump trigger action two actions we are going to learn along with that heap dump trigger also so in this core journey i'll explain the concepts of thread dump also and heap dump also usually usually it is part of my performance engineering session there everybody should know what is heap dump what is thread dump what is garbage collection those understanding I usually explain to them, but here I wanted to bring in because you wanted at least badly you require this concepts learning and all because over the period we cannot only rely on PT tools or or utility tools. Okay, we wanted to have a little more further understanding about heap, thread, garbage collection and all. That is the reason I uh, added those uh, uh, concepts as well. What is the A engine difference between uh, there? It is it is Davis. Your A engine is actually Davis. Here it is, there is no name like that, but it will actually do the intelligence part and all. It is built in uh, Satinarena. Like there, the, the Davis is a artificial intelligence, right? Here there is no name, but the the, the tool itself by, by normal behavior, it will do the intelligence built in. Clear Satinarena? Okay, yeah. So and then you'll also I'll also show you the dashboard creation and report creation. Actually, I'll tell you uh, in the last say like uh, the ten people that I interacted with the app dynamics people. In that probably five to six people are only working in dashboards. That's the only access provided by the customer. I I to whomever I interacted with. No, everybody is saying uh, I my primary job is observe what is happening in dashboard is there any problem report to the respective that is the only primary job is actually done by the people so look at the importance uh, guys so so with that we are going to learn it like how we are going to construct a dashboard how we are going to uh, configure a report what report will be getting i'll i'll even i'll configure your mail ids and all to 
trigger a mail to you people like what is the report that you are getting like that we will learn it okay and also uh, issue debugging uh, like what satyana narayana asked right like um, pure path in dynatrace is actually called as call graph in um, uh, in app dynamics that we will learn it like uh, layer by layer uh, how the potential issue can be identified uh, class name method name a line number level you can go and understand it in uh, call graph that also we will cover as part of our uh, core journey and also there is an important concept called metric browser all your app dynamics data metric data i'm saying is actually commonly available in a place called metric browser okay your app app server metric your db server metric uh, your user experience metric your machine level metric all those metrics are commonly stored uh, called metric browser so that learning we will be doing along with that what is happening all the tool vendors in the industry nowadays they are exposing their data in the format of rest api all the all the uh, most of the people i would say performance center they exposed new new load they exposed dynatrace they exposed uh, app dynamics they exposed like that everybody started exposing their uh, primary data in the form of rest api okay so what i'm going to show you how the rest api can be used to get the data from app dynamics to outside the world from app dynamics to outside the world that also we are going to learn it and uh, we are also going to uh, learn about load runner jmeter integration part like how we can integrate load runner and jmeter and how we can differentiate your load runner jmeter uh, traffic in app dynamics that is also we are going to learn it. okay and then the baselining concept what is baselining concept that also we are going to cover and then tips and tricks real world example all these are covered so the, with the with the explanation itself you would have uh, now got the clarity like how we constructed it it is it is pure and pure practical learning oriented uh, course that we planned uh, for our learn okay can you share the technical comparison between apm tools like um uh, Te technical comparison means what you are trying to explain uh, satina you, know? you are saying like agent comparison or something like that agent agent uh, comparison or something like that yeah what is there in fd what is not there in direct trace like that uh, um... uh, actually saying um, uh, uh, everything it is all mutually uh, shared that is how these apm tools are uh, uh, there maybe one or two points would be a differentiator not the missing part would be a little different that maybe i'll explain during our course journey satina uh, uh, all the way if you are asking me three tools you know i'll definitely say all these tools what are available i can say but uh, one or two points may be missing uh, so, sorry not missing differentiated in in a different way they are representing their data that i will explain during our course journey satina rana okay. sure i'll explain okay. Yeah. okay if i miss also please remind me don't, yeah. don't mistake me why i'm saying like that sometimes uh if i uh go if i'm going with the flow sometimes if i'm missing you try to bring the top okay yeah sure okay sure uh so this is the entire course content what we are going to learn as part of the app dynamics uh, uh course journey um uh, uh it is like one hour per day okay one hour per day the same time slot 8 o'clock to 9 o'clock indian time and then uh, corresponding eastern time and other other time zones and it is uh, probably 15 hours of session okay 15 hours of session that we are uh, planning and those who are interested uh, to proceed with our uh, course journey please reach out to kumar sir number this is kumar sir number 801995242 i'll repeat again 801995242 you can reach out to kumar sir number based on the enquiries and the, the uh, details that we wanted to get it you can reach out to kumar sir number or if you have any uh, any particular question